This is part three of the five part series of care and maintenance of a base carnet. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about reeds. These lovely, lovely expensive things that I just dropped. All right, these lovely things right here, okay? These, if you don't know yet, they can range in from like $20 for a pack of 10, maybe $30 for a pack of 10, depending on your brand that you get. But yeah, I have two different brands here. I have um, Rico and I have Van Doren, okay? Definitely recommend Van Doren over Rico, but Rico is a good starting brand, okay? If you know you're just starting out and you don't want to wear through too many reads too quick, try Rico for a little bit. And I'd advise you to start anywhere from a 1.5 to like maybe one, depending on however you feel. Just test it out, you know, see how you feel. But you are going to go through these things like crazy. Okay, I just keep dropping them because they're so slippery. But, yeah. So in my case, I have two very old Ricos that I never used, okay? These two have been like at least like a year old. They're not good anymore. I don't use them. I just keep them in here in case of a dire need emergency. I won't even use Rico. But if I need them, they're here in my case, okay? I'm going to keep these two here. I'm gonna pick up the other one. Okay. Now these four are the ones that I actually have been using. There is one currently on my instrument right now, and I labeled that new. It's kind of worn out because I put Sharpie on it and it kind of rubbed off. And then I have one newest, which I only use two times so far. Then I have one called old comma good. So it's an older one, I used it before this one, but it's still good to use, so I don't mind. And then I have one unlabeled, as you can see, that is brand new. I have not used this baby yet, it's still perfect, still brand new. I'm saving this one if we ever need to turn in another assignment for band. Okay. So that one can stay in there. Now we're down to three. Okay. These three are the ones that I use every day old good newest and new i've been using the new one just to like kind of use it up a little bit and right now it's good no chips no cracks no anything okay. these are good these are going to be on there for a while um i personally like to label these just because i will now know what like which one is which and i'm not going to use the old one forever thinking it's a brand new one be like oh what's wrong with it you know so i like to label them but obviously, these labels are going to expire, you know, everything expires. So this old but good one is going to get tossed eventually. And then this newest one is going to go to new. So what I do is I take an expo. Okay, so this right here is Sharpie. I take an expo marker, just kind of like right over it, because that's a little tip for you guys. Expo marker will take off Sharpie on a plastic. And then just take it off, and then write old comma good or something like that old old and then maybe a date i haven't been um at school so i don't really care about the date too much on these but when i was in school i would usually put a date on the back of these but i have everything in my head right now which is not good but you should put a date on them like what day you started using them you know so yeah this one is going to go to old good sometime eventually and then one of the brand new ones is going to go to new one okay and the thing about reeds is that they're going to collect so much bacteria. They literally, you literally put your mouth on it and you're playing on it. And it's gonna get a little gross. So once you play it, like after you play it for the day or whatever, you can take your swab when you swab out your instrument. And then what I do is I just kind of like wipe it gently, very, very gently, because you do not want to break these. Okay, please don't break these. Swipe softly. Just kind of let it take off all the like excess moisture on it just so there's not too much okay then you can put it back in if you can let these air dry out like i was saying about the swabs but if you can't you know if you're like in a rush or you have to go to your next class or something like that then okay put them in your case but best to just let them dry out not like stay in an enclosed spot because then they're going to grow mold and that's disgusting so please don't do that Mine stay upstairs in my room on a little like counter that I have. I spread it out, let it dry up, and we're good. I'll put it away like later on in the night. Yeah. So that's the 
that's the big thing, okay? Don't damage your, your reeds. Keep them clean, keep them dry, clean, keep them safe, okay? Those are your babies. And I don't know about you guys, but I like to keep an extra reed in my pocket, just like with my screwdriver whenever I go on marches, just in case, okay? So yeah, you guys, just be aware of your reeds. Thank you.